Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, Binding Wise again with Plus Mods. This one is again Alpha Birth Pack 1, Mom's Closet. We did the uh, shittiest run ever challenge last time. We actually died, and I'm pretty embarrassed by it because that challenge is not, I think, as hard as I made it out to look. Um, but that might be a mistake. Maybe it actually is that difficult. Let's try Exploding Head Syndrome. Either way, I played badly. Is this another one where we can't, uh, we can't shoot? It is. Um, or we've got like a charge, Ipecac, Continuum, and then like some kind of, oh, when we shoot out of our back occasionally. Um, alright, this basically seems like hell. I'm, I, I don't know what's happening. Uh, I think maybe we just have, we have like a chance to fire a shot, but only from behind us, or... Do I even need to shoot? No, I am shooting right now without even pressing the button, so I guess we're just shooting in a random direction. Maybe the more time goes on on a room, the more likely we are to shoot, because it seems like we're pretty much just shooting 100% of the time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No? Okay. I don't know. There was a period where I was shooting 100% of the time. Those were the days, dude. Catch him, catch him. All right. Uh, I... Basically, have that was a beautiful shot. As much as it hurt me in the process, that was a beautiful shot. Uh, I have no confidence in our ability to su to succeed on this run. This run seems like actual hell. Data Miner can basically go fuck itself right now, as far as I'm concerned. But hot bombs. Now there's an item that has some potential with us, or not, because it doesn't work with Ipecac. But that's you know that's fine, dude. It's not like I was relying on that item to actually be good. Is it like, I think it's if we stand still, we stop shooting. And then as soon as we start to move, we start shooting again. Okay, now that I've, I've sussed out the way things look on this run. That's like step one of a thousand in actually getting this run defeated. Genius. Um, let's go check out our shop. And obviously, well, that's a new item, so first, obviously, we gotta check it out. Isaac's Apple, Gravity Up. Okay, I have no idea what that would do, but we're gonna give it the old college try regardless, aren't we? Um, I'm trying to see if this is maybe a, you know, secret room or something. What the fuck, dude? All right, I'll tell you what, disregard. I have no idea what this is doing. Um, anyway, yeah, we're maybe fucked on this run. I mean, getting rid of Yamhart was probably not a good idea. But one thing that could save it, uh, if it needs to be saved, is any kind of bomb invincibility. I think if we get a bomb invincibility, it's just over. Blessing of knowledge. What the heck's that? We, we have knowledge of the map. Okay, that's cool. Dude, it only just now dawned on me that a blessing of knowledge doesn't just mean, hey, there's something called a blessing of knowledge. It means there's something called blessings in the game. Oh, absolutely. Let me try out Tractor Beam here. Unfortunately, it... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, it totally works. We have to manually aim Tractor Beam. And I still fucked it up pretty badly. Um, yeah, stop that. <laughs> now we can manually aim Tractor Beam is what I should be saying. I am still hitting myself routinely here, though. I'm trying to think, like, how do I get myself out of this mess? Why am I getting hit on the regular? As that doesn't make sense. Why? Why are some of these shots just exploding in my face right now? Maybe I'm missing something. All right. Is there anything that does good for us here? Well, for once in our entire lives, we would have loved to have had um, a two of hearts, but we didn't get one. So instead, we'll take deep pockets. And we will walk backwards. I, I don't understand. I, I, well, I mean, I think it's probably clear that we're maybe going to redo this challenge. There was a weird little bomb enemy in there. I really thought Tractor Beam was going to take things to the next level. Instead, um... Really seems to make me just, like, uncontrollably shoot myself. Okay. We're gonna try to restart that one. 
I have no idea. Some, like, kind of errant, horrible interaction with Tractor Beam. Now, people are gonna dispute this. They're gonna be like, don't take Isaac's heart, or sorry, don't take, uh, Guppy's head. You need Yum Heart to survive, and you may well be right, I'll give you that. However, if this was any other run, which is not necessarily the right strategy to use here, what would I do? I would take Guppy's head, there's no question about it. Um, we're gonna take Mom's eye as well. I don't know if it's actually gonna work for us, but can't be any worse than Tractor Beam, I'll tell you that much. Okay, we gotta try to get the Tinted Rock here, maybe something like that. That was like a direct hit. That felt amazing. Damn, baby, I can't do it that fast, but I know someone who can. Pretty fly. Helpful, but you have to think that on this run, I'm probably most likely to be my own worst enemy. So as much as I... And yeah, I heard the secret room chime. As much as I think that... Uh, maybe... Ooh! Like, maybe Pretty Fly is d at least decent. Mostly I am just stoked that... Um, I got something that can just prevent one more source of plausible damage from hitting me. The Hierophant card gives us a great shot at the deal with the devil as well. I think that this... It's hard to say, okay? This early on, it's hard to say. But I think that this run might be hard. I think that... And where, how late is it going? It only goes till Mom's foot, so it's not that bad. But, um, Which is actually just Mom, but you get the idea. I think this, like, the poop one I don't think is hard. I think I just played really, really badly. This one, I think, on the other hand, is actually... It has the potential, at least, to be pretty difficult. Now, mind you, that's what uh, I'm actually really stoked to have Guppy's head for, because... Oh, that's gotta be our secret room, right? One of these days. Um... I'm stoked to have Guppy's head for because that should make it actually like substantially easier. Oh, we don't have any keys. Okay, just a little movement. In. That's too much. That's too much movement. Why don't you just play some? I ruined my deal with the devil chance, despite being in a situation where there were like four spirit hearts directly surrounding us. So that's, um, I mean, error between keyboard and chair, of course. But at the same time, fudge. That was stupid. Um, crack this open. It's a new item. White candle. Spread the light. I'm gonna open this as well. Bomb bag. You never know. That that could actually be important. Spread the light. I have no idea what it does. Did we get a damage up? It seemed like that guy died faster than I would have expected. I'm gonna go back to our curse room as well because uh, we'll see how that goes. You know, we, we can afford to, basically. I will say, um, what in the good Christ... Stop. Like, what in the good Christ does this item do? The item that is, you know, presently screwing me right now every second that I walk. Um, is it actually just the worst item in, in video game history? Where when you walk, you shoot bullets, otherwise you cannot shoot any tears? Because, I mean, it seems real bad right now. It's a new item. Cologne. Rhymes with alone. Yeah. I mean, mighty fine police work there, Lou, but I don't really know what that means. I do have an increasingly large light surrounding me. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I find myself, uh, feeling the burn in a, in a very real fashion right now. Well... At least we get to keep Guppy's head, uh, which is actually extraordinarily useful. Seems like when we get hit, we uh, create beams of light, which is actually pretty good. I think it's pretty good, at least. Well, not a secret room, or maybe I didn't find it. I don't know, I'm trying to think of like anything but invincibility that would really hook me up here. What are the biggest things on a run like this that could actually help. More damage does help. It's probably not the most important factor for us right now, but it does matter. You know, to be able to kill enemies faster is probably good. I was also thinking, 
maybe if I was actually like an otherworldly genius level Isaac player, IV bag is a takeable item. Oh my fucking god. What's my what's my thinking behind that ridiculous claim? When we're about to get hit, I would just pop IV bag and then uh I'd be good to go. Anything that tr makes our tears not transform, like presumably mom's knife, brimstone, regular technology. These could provide us with another out, but I don't know, man. Like, it really does feel like this one might just be mostly waiting around for uh, Pyromaniac to show up. Ooh, but the straw is really good. Or can be really good. So I'm going to take that over Guppy's head because of the lifesteal. Effectively. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's so annoying, dude! I know, like, working is intended, but... My god, this is... It's a nightmare. We gotta get some, it's something that like breaks continuum. Oh, okay, it's not like I wanted to buy the red heart or anything. Uh, oh, it's not, I can't afford it anyway. So just get the fuck out of here. Oh my lord. Yeah, so exploding head syndrome is basically hell. Um, I'm gonna try to find our secret room. It's really hard. It's really hard to like intentionally hit something and not other things. Okay, so just slow your roll. And I am just over the moon right now at how this is going. Just walk slowly. She told me to walk slowly! I think you only get hits on normal sized rooms when you're walking north to north to south. So I'm thinking step one here for making a successful run is spend as much time as possible walking east to west and then like never double back. I don't know if we want a shot speed upgrade to be honest with you, but sure why not, dude? Eden Soul Thoughts arrive like fucking butterflies. Boam, boam. Nun's habit is actually going to be good with the straw. And I did want to fight these guys as much as it might have seemed like, like they got me here. It's not the case. So I'm trying to fire. As much as I don't want to go north or south, I do need them to both get created so we can hit them both with the straw, for example. So... Now, if we stand in one place and do that, we will be hit. Good to know. And then get Strahd, son. I don't know, man. This one... I'm looking for redemption. But in hindsight, it would have just been much easier to win on that first run. Because <laughs> this is... This is hell. It only goes to Mom, though. And we're on the Flooded Caves 2, seven and a half minutes in. So I guess, you know, it helps to remember that as well. You might not need invincibility. Wanting invincibility is one thing. The straw is actually super good for us. We hit him with a shot that charmed him, but did not kill him. What is this, Narnia? Because of the... Like, the only thing that's going to save us on this run... I mean, first off, Charm of the Vampire is pretty good if we're just trying to get to survival. Um, okay. Problem is, you try to go pick up a red heart, which requires walking. You walk yourself into the next fucking shot that you just took. Um, help. Oh, I saw it coming, but you can't get out of the way. And even then, while you get out of the way, you're putting yourself at greater risk. The only thing, as of right now, is going to save this challenge, to be honest with you, is uh, the fact that it ends early. If we win with roughly the run that we've got going right now, we owe uh, we owe the mod makers a great deal of that success, to be honest with you. 
So this went to mom's heart and we started taking double damage from our own shots on the womb. Well, we're going to be dead before too, too long. Golden bombs are actually like an unbelievable godsend. By the way, I rest assured, I am aware of the fact, like what is even happening here? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, sure. I am aware of the fact that we have effectively unlimited money. Oh my god. Dude. We died there, as you could hear. This challenge is a fucking nightmare. This is hell. Okay, so we did have some tools that were working out nicely for us last time. I think, like... What I need here, I need I need a couple of things. One of them could be like an orbital, one of them would be bomb invincibility. Another one would just be for me to actually suss out our pattern here. I think you go spider babby. We're going to be hitting ourselves a lot. The spiders are going to be high value. And um, we need yum heart. I think we need yum heart anyway. So what's the pattern that I'm, I'm figuring out so far? The pattern that I'm figuring out so far is I think we might have only hit ourselves so much because we had higher shot speed and, and maybe regular speed than normal. So, like on this run, it actually seems a lot easier so far. So, maybe slow your roll on those uh, those speed ups and shot speed ups and try to focus on like damage instead. It's a little bit of a red herring because, you know, you start playing as Maggie and you're like, I want those speed upgrades. Maybe those speed upgrades are, um, you know, more trouble than they're worth. Or maybe not. I mean, that's the other alternative. So we smelted a trinket, but that trinket did not exist. So, nothing to worry about. Any chance we got a secret room up in this general direction? Maybe, maybe not. Dude, I am getting hit hard by jet lag right now. <laughs> it's only like, it's a three hour difference, but I think my body is messed up because we went like, you know, three hour difference and we stayed a night and a two hour difference and now we're back home like right after. So I apologize if this message gets you down, then I'd CC'd every girl that I CC'd around town. Hate to see all frown, but I'd rather see her smiling. Still not a secret room, no matter how many times you check. Um, I am, uh, I'm trying my damnedest here, but... You know, this run combined with uh, the state I'm in right now, Bell and Sebastian-esque, is uh, it's throwing me for a freaking loop right now. But we don't really need a deal with the devil to succeed. So the fact that we lost a deal with the devil here, I don't think matters that much, or likely lost a deal. Let's be honest, we're probably going to get hit on the boss fight. We've been hit on almost every other room on this freaking floor so far. Um... So I took Toxic Shock Center because I think it, with rooms with a lot of enemies, it's going to make life easier. I, I took a range upgrade, which I should not have. Um, even though it came with a luck upgrade, it's probably not worth it. And sadly, I think neither of those are good, so we'll go for deals with the Angel. But well, you know what's nice is that I heard that deals with the Angel in this mod uh, are actually rebalanced to be better. So I am I'm very much for that. Alright, so what comes next for us on this run? Well, I, I think that... Things are not as bad as they could have been. We got that deal with the devil, whether or not we deserved it. Um, and that's going to give us the possibility to get a deal with the angel. And the possibility to knock this challenge off the list, which is, uh, as of right now, proving to be fairly cumbersome. I would, I don't know, this seems like the kind of run where, like, the poop challenge is like, if you play well, I think you've got a great chance to win first try, or any try. Um, maybe I got super lucky with the items that I got, but I don't necessarily think that's the case. And, uh, the, uh, this challenge, the exploding head challenge, I don't know. This seems like one where, you, if you don't get a dream run, you're gonna find yourself in a, in a real tough-ass spot. I do like Spider Babby, though. This is, the, again, this is what I want to see out of challenges, is, is the ability to get more situations like this. Situations where an item that previously was kind of garbage is actually like okay now. Now, normally, I think if, if this was like a, you know, mafia boss, he's got a gun to my head and he goes, Hey, if you don't finish this challenge, you're gonna die. And I say, what's my crime? And they say, well, you assume that a mafia boss has got to have an accent like this. And that's a little uh, presumptuous, isn't it? In today's day and age. So, 
yes, I'm. there's a, a time paradox involved there, but at the same time, I'm being penalized for being insensitive, I suppose. Um, and if he says, hey, you gotta beat this challenge first try, or you, uh, your goose is cooked, mister, then I probably just head down to the next floor here. But I'm eager to see what kind of item interactions we can get. Uh, and the D6 certainly is interesting. So we're gonna take it and reroll the Yum Heart. Why not, dude? Is the Yum Heart uh, essential to win? It never should be. That doesn't mean it isn't, but it never should be. I'm also gonna try the Curse Room, which is now we're getting a little maybe overly dangerous for our own good, but it did work out. Um, I think a, a cool run here is Bloody Penny IV Bag. And it's weird because it doesn't really rely on Exploding Head, but because we have Spider Babby, we can kind of skirt the system here. Is that the secret room? It is. Yeah, because we have Spider Baby. And put something under the tree for me. We can um, create like these high value spiders. What is that? Use diaper. We get like like mild halitosis, I think. Suffocation, no breathing. I don't even know if we want speedball again. Speed is kind of bad, maybe, but. Okay, careful, careful. White candle again. Ah, oh, ah, ah, ah. Oh, white candle is the one that was causing the shots to come down from above, not uh. Not our other item. Ooh! Okay, we're on half a... Because I like you. We're gonna do one more here. It's a very, very tough thing to get used to. This idea that you're never actually safe. So, believe you me. You know, and maybe this should scare you. This... <laughs> this is me trying. And if you think this looks easy, I encourage you to install the mod yourself. You know, I don't, I don't think you can play the seeds um, and, and get them challenge enabled, which is the real challenge, if you or like at least the ability to repeat it. But um, I, I challenge you to do this first try. I don't think it's impossible. I do think it's low percentage. I think this is like a you know, 25% chance you, you knock it out on your first try. Maybe more now that you've you know, seen the mechanic in action, but... Still, like if you beat this first try, I wouldn't be mad. I would actually just be impressed. Because it takes a lot of getting used to. So speed and range, the two things we don't want to take. And then we get a health downgrade. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, if there's, if there's two things we do want to take, maybe that speed down and if not range, then like shot speed down. It's so counter to the way that we normally play and we definitely want HP upgrades. But that's also a speed upgrade and the range upgrade. So I don't know, man. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. I guess the other thing we should maybe consider is just that the right way to play this is to play it however you want to play it. And just try to win regardless. Maybe there's maybe there's more art in the completion of the run via skill than there is in uh, you know choosing the items that make it plausible. Of course, if we could just get Pyromaniac, that'd be pretty... Swell as well. I'm just throwing that out there as a possibility if you're interested. Can we we have this kind of shot speed yet? No. Oh, because it's a weird it's a weirdo room. Oh, that's right. We can also aim on the 45 degree angles. It sounds weird, but if I walk left, I would shoot left. But if I walk left and point up, I shoot left. Wait a minute. No, we still just shoot in whatever direction. Okay, I understand. We still just shoot in whatever direction we're walking. Yes, okay. Scrambled my brain a little bit, but that's okay. So we are probably gonna open that golden chest as well. Let's see if we can access the stone chest first. We get Bob's brain, dude. Is this the situation where Bob's brain is like the greatest thing for us? Bodfly, oh wait, it's parasitoid. Botfly would have been sick though, don't deny it. I mean, Parasitoid could be good as well. Generating spiders on tears. Maybe not immediately 100% pertinent, but 
any 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 anything generated is going to be useful for us. Any are you okay, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I don't know. I am determined to not open this mod spotlight with two losses in a row. This is a genuine challenge, though. You know, some of the challenges in uh, in Isaac history have just been gimmicks. This one is like a challenge, challenge. And if you think, if you look at this and you go, Bob's brain's cheating. All I can say is, like, look at how far we've come. Used to be, you know, Bob's brain is garbage, never take it. Now it's Bob's brain is cheating. Well, actually, uh, you're taking the argument out of context. It's only this one highly specific situation that Bob's brain is considered. Okay, well, you got me. You geeslinged me on a technicality, you fucking barrister and or solicitor. Bloody penny. Oh, Rib of Greed is not very good, but not particularly good for us, at least. Let's do this! I am prepared! I am not at all sleepy. Again, I, I mean, I talked about this in, uh, I think the daily that went up yesterday, but like, it's not just jet lag. It's also the fact that we live our lives as if we're like, well, we live, we plan our schedules as if we're like high school students on summer vacation that don't have a job. Did I add enough qualifying statements to that? Um, like, Kate and I, we go to bed pretty late. And we live in, like, the second most western time zone on Earth. So, you know, if we go to bed at 3 a.m. Pacific time, you can run the math on that, dude. If you're in uh, eastern time, that's 6 a.m. That's the time when many people are getting up to begin their days. So we went to Boston. You know, you gotta be at the convention center at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Well, you don't have to be there at 10 a.m., but that's when it opens. 10 a.m. Eastern Time. 7 a.m. Pacific Time. We're normally going to bed at 6 a.m. Pacific Time. We gotta switch our schedule so we're waking up at the time when we normally go to sleep. I'm not, I'm not, again, recall that I started this conversation by saying we brought it on ourselves, but, you know, that's. I was like, man, it's like 6 p.m. Pacific. Why am I so tired? This is normally like, it's the middle of my workday, basically. And the answer, I think, is because my body is like, I don't know what time it is, dude. You fucked with me too much, and now now I don't know what to believe. I'm sorry for that, body. But I'm not going to keep myself on... Oh, good, another health downgrade. I'm not going to keep myself on uh, Eastern Time year-round, just so that if we choose to go to PAX East, it's acceptable. It seems very, very stupid. Highly idiotic. Maybe if I worked on, like, the New York Stock Exchange or something, I could see it happening. Can't really... You're probably not a great stockbroker if you wake up at 2.30 Eastern Time. But I don't really care about our shop right now. In fact, I don't, I don't really care about a whole hell of a lot on this run except for minimizing the amount of self-damage we take. And how's that working? I don't know at all. I have no answer to- Oh my god, I thought Bob's brain might protect me. Well, we got hit again anyway, so... No deal with the devil. Well, low deal with the devil odds. We get more HP. Honestly, I think that is precisely what we need. Everything else is second de uh, second dental. Everything else is secondary. We don't need... Um, no education. We don't need no thought patrol. I don't like The Wall by Pink Floyd. There's a couple of reasons. One is, Pink Floyd's got better songs. And The Wall, I think, is just too easy. Like, in terms of... Uh, we already tried that. that. That item wasn't that cool for us, actually. Um, in terms of, like... Oh, there we go. Hopefully this works. Nope. Alright. I'm just gonna say I like the poop challenge more right now, because it was more transformative. But also... Um, I don't like that some of the synergies don't work here. It's when you've been really like hard coded into a specific path. Like, it might make it impossible, but I think it's my right to make it impossible. If we took like Mom's Eye, which we did on the last one, and Mom's Eye just causes you to like, you know, shoot a shot out of your front and back simultaneously every time you shoot, or at least have a chance every time you shoot. Instead, so we gotta go like this. Instead, we just get the same old, same old here. Why not give it a shot, dude? Anyway, what I was gonna say is, 
I think in terms of, uh, like, semi-protest, you know, rebellious songs, you get, you know, the Who's, you know, I hope I die before I get old. It's a great, great punk-ish line, even though the Who is more pop. We don't need no education, we don't need no thought control. It's a little bit like, okay, you know, it's like your nephew being like, dude, have you ever considered that maybe God isn't real? And then he just looks at you for, like, approval, and you're like, well, you, jeez. Boy, have I got a book for you. And then the book, when you show it to him, has a pair of handcuffs inside, and you take him to jail. And you say, this is for your own good. This is all a joke. I get that it's a joke about a sensitive subject. Both Pink Floyd and religion. Very passionate fan bases, I think it's fair to say. And atheism, for that matter. You know, I keep my personal beliefs out of these videos because uh, for many reasons one of which is that uh, uh, I'm an entertainer the other one is that you know I want to be respectful as long as you're respectful to other people I don't really care what you believe you believe it's fucking you know big old tortellini god in the sky giving everybody spiritual meatballs I don't really care you know got better things to do with my time than be like man I'm gonna so say I told you so if we dissolve into nothingness Plus, can you imagine, like, if you're wrong, that just sucks, dude. Imagine you're in, like, you know, I don't know, Satanist heaven. I don't know anything about Satanism. I'm not trying to be offensive. I just pick something, not at random, but for um, a logical absurdity's sake. Not that Satanism is absurd, but rather the concept of a Satanist heaven might come across as a little absurd. You get the, I'm backtracking too much, but you get the idea. Imagine you're up in Satanist heaven, and you've been, you know, worshipping, I don't know, regular heaven. Believing that that's gonna come true, and then you end up in Satanist heaven, it's like a very I told you so situation. You gotta hope that the, uh, he spawned a bomb. That, what is this? <laughs> you gotta hope that that guy's, you know, feeling nice that day, or you're gonna hear about it for eternity. At that point, I might rather just dissolve into nothingness. Anyway, the point is... I don't think that line's that deep. And then this is where people tell me, it's actually a satire of protest songs. It's meant to be shallow. Okay, you got me. You know? They should say that before they play it on the radio ten times an hour, because... Bloody Penny. Now we just need, like, um... Well, Swallowed Penny would do it, wouldn't it? We got the ability to hold two trinkets simultaneously here, but we're also almost on the last floor. Why is I Hope I Die Before I Get Old a good lyric? Because he's saying, like, you know, old people don't like us. They keep telling us, like, we're going to change when we get older. We're going to hate the next generation. I hope I die before that happens to me. It's like the ultimate, like, I would rather die than be you sort of line. Self-destructive, but at the, you know, the benefit of taking your own principles to the grave, I guess. Why is We Don't Need No Education uh, a bad lyric, in my opinion? Well, it's just kind of stupid, isn't it? Not to, like, Pilkington, this whole situation, but why wouldn't you want education? Like, sure, we don't we don't need no thought control. I like that. That that at least has a slight bit, not much, but a slight bit of nuance. We don't need no education. It's just like, first off, that means you do need an education because of the double negative. Maybe if you had an education, you would have known that. Mm, posthumous burn, Sid Barrett. Actually, Sid Barrett only played on the... First uh, album, he didn't play on the wall. Okay, well, you got me. I don't know enough about Pink Floyd to be having this conversation, which is probably what I should have prefaced this by saying. Either way. I don't have anything else to say on the subject. Maybe it's just our... Like, I, I'm, I hesitate to say, like, all radios like this. Because it's all just based on, like, the one rock radio station in my hometown. The only Pink Floyd song they ever played was The Wall. And I think it's just because it's... At least over here, it's the most known. Like, shine on you crazy diamond. Are you kidding me? How are they going to put ad breaks into, into the program? They're playing shine on you crazy diamond. They're playing the radio edit of, uh, you know, Super Tramps. Goodbye, stranger. It's been nice. So, no joke, while we were at PAX, we went and did karaoke. You might have seen this on social media. I don't know, I wasn't filming it, but people were. 
And I, I gave them my uh, my license to to come out with it because you know I don't care if you hear me sing. Like, it would be a little silly if I was like, don't post that. All shitty singing with my like tone deaf ear and other vocal organs. Why not, dude? At this point, can only be posted by me in my own videos. That would be pretty. Not nice of me. Dude, let's go looking for the item room. We've actually gained HP on this floor. Um, the the OS and the search functionality at this karaoke place. We did it at Paxi's, like, Rob, Austin, Kate, Michael L. Fox, and their significant others who I don't mean to lump into, like, a single category, except, you know, if I start rattling off names, you might not know who they are. So that's what... I added a meaningful category there that hopefully would give you some idea of who I'm talking about here. Um... So I'm looking through it. You can't find any songs you're looking for. You type in Q, and it's like Queen. And then you click on Queen, and it's like, we got one song, it's Bicycle Race. So you type QE, and it's like Queen. Click on it, they got two songs. They got Bohemian Rhapsody and We Are The Champions. And you're like, I don't understand what you're looking for here. You put in QUE, and it's like, yeah, you know, Queen Latifah. Bohemian Rhapsody, what? But we found Mambo Number 5, and I was like, sick. Why does it say Mambo Number 5 by Bob the Builder, though? They didn't have Mambo Number no. 5 by Lou Bega, it turns out, as we discovered mere moments later. Mambo Number no. 5 pops on the screen. It's this weird kind of like stop motion animated thing. You might be able to see where this is going. Turns out, it wasn't Mambo Number no. 5 by Lou Bega at all. It was this hilarious relic of the late 1990s and early 2000s where it was a Mambo Number no. 5 parody with lyrics that were about Bob the Builder. Now, we may have been a little bit under the influence, but to the best of my memory, the chorus was like, uh, a little bit of concrete and some sand, a little bit of Bob the Builder man, a little waterproofing's what I need, a little, wait, 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 I bet I can do this, okay. Bob the Builder man, Mambo, Number five. Holy fuck, they totally have it. Female names are replaced by types of construction supplies. Yes, that's correct. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody's outside, so come on, let's ride to the builder's yard around the corner. The gang's all here, and it's time for us to do what we wanna. There's a house with a roof that leaks. It's an urgent job, and it could take us weeks. <laughs> weeks. Anyway, you, you get the idea here. Jump up and down, and move it all around. Mix it up to the sound. Dig a hole in the ground. And then it, he just goes, take one step left, take one step right. One to the front and one to the side. Um, if it looks like this, then you're doing it right. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, well, it exists on the... You could go look it up for yourself if you want. That's what I'm getting at here. Um, it was a good time. That's the other thing I was getting at here. We're actually 37 minutes into this run. It's dawning on me that we're probably going to actually win. <sighs> you see it coming, but you don't know what to do once it gets there. I'm gonna try... Oh, we got golden keys, so yeah, first off, let's hit ourselves for, like, no discernible reason. Yeah, okay, we'll do it one more time. Uh, actually, two more times, I was thinking it would be... Uh, maybe, like, three more times, maybe we just do it forever and ever. Um, okay, don't, don't fucking squander this, dude. You got Bloody Penny. All you need to do is not hit yourself very much, or the other alternative is... Hit yourself a lot, but drop pennies, somehow. I think we're actually going to win this. We've got enough HP. Turns out that maybe the secret to this run is, uh, just, uh... <sighs> Turns out the secret of this run is, uh, maybe just having a lot of HP containers. It's, it's weirdly kind of vanilla in that way. Uh, at least in my very limited experience. Now, I will say, I'm not trying to rag on the developers, you know, doing this... It, it, I use the D6 by accident there. It feels weird to say out of the goodness of their heart, but you know what I mean, right? Like, this is not a commercial endeavor for them. Although they may or may not accept uh, donations. I actually don't know. Um, but, I don't think this is as cool as the last challenge. It's certainly, you know, it's got... It's got a lot going for it in the novelty department. It's, it's weird. Like, it, it, it's very difficult as well. It's, it's weird difficult. I agree with that. 
Um, notice I didn't say weird hard, because that would be um, disgusting. Um, or, I don't know, Feruza Balk esque, I don't know. Not from the craft, but from the water boy. Now, hey, you get smoked. Get smoked. You're not getting smoked like in the least. There we go. Oh, that's that's probably going to do it for us right there. So first off, double fucking everything. Then re-roll it. Take restock. Store credit. We don't really want the map, though. We will take spider mod. It spawned a real spider? Like, not a real spider. That would be ridiculous, but... These are not good enough. Ah. Still not good enough. I gotta sneeze. Achoo! Fudge. Okay. Don't buy the battery with store credit, you dummy. What are you doing? This should give us more red hearts. I don't know. We spent like a million red hearts just doing this. Now, when I say this, it's going to be easy to interpret this as me saying I don't like this challenge. And that's not what I'm suggesting here. But what I am going to say is that I'm going to be happy to be done this challenge. You see that subtle distinction there? I'm not saying I'm I'm anti this challenge. What I am suggesting is that this challenge is a, a bit of a nightmare. So the fact that we managed... Oh, we're not done. We could do boss rush. Well, obviously that's ridiculous, but sure, I'll try boss rush. I don't think we're hitting what I want to hit here. I'm trying to think of like, the the reason that I'm a little bit more reserved on this uh, challenge than the last is that it, it sort of feels like you're shoehorned into like their gimmick no matter what on this one. And that, that may or may not even be deliberate, but certainly like when 2020 didn't work and, and Tractor Beam didn't seem to work and, you know, I was, I sort of got this idea that you know, okay, so how do you want me to make this run work? I kind of like when challenges are a little bit more customizable. Now, if we lose on this challenge because of boss rush, you know, we lose. This is just like a fun little um, surprise I felt like doing to see if we could, uh, well, if we could, basically. And it gives me more time to talk about Bob the Builder Man. Now, there's nothing to talk about, you know. Except for how ridiculous it was. So I went and I asked for my money back. I said, what's this chicken shit bullshit? I didn't pay X number of dollars. Play Bob the fucking Builder Man. Also, how does that song make it on there, but, you know, Lou Bega's Mambo Number 5 doesn't? And I don't mean to be offensive here. This is also a place where, like, to find It Wasn't Me by Shaggy. I typed in It Wasn't Me. And then where the artist was, was, like, Mandarin Chinese text. And I just picked it. And I was like, I bet that's Shaggy. And it was Shaggy. So, I mean, we're not necessarily dealing with the the most user-friendly experience here. And you might say, well, was the place Chinese? I'd say, yes, it was. Um, so, you, you, I'd understand why the artist's name is in Chinese. Sure, you make an excellent point. Um, here's one little hole in that uh, story. All the other artist names were in English. At least I assume, you know, part of the problem, as we've mentioned, was like you try to search for like somebody's, you know, a song by somebody you'd like. You'd, you'd like to sing it. Um, that's how karaoke often goes. Um, just didn't exist. So I'm starting to think that maybe there was just a metadata or, or tagging issue involved. So what's the, what's the best item we got? It's Bob's brain, dude. I don't cry when I get Bob's brain. I don't get angry with the mods that are insane. I don't get angry with the head explosion. I like to mm, keep positive emotions. Please. Oh! I'm just running into things now. Like, end you so I don't have to. End you so I don't have to. Yeah, I've come to the conclusion we're probably going to die. Uh, it, it doesn't help that this room is actually so large that when I try to... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I really thought that was going to do it. 
I try to walk away uh, from my own tears, sometimes I actually walk into another one. And the D6 turns out probably the wrong choice, if we're being honest here. Enemies keep getting in front of my freaking shots! Oh my... But, one way or the other, first off, do you exist? Oh, one way or the other. We at least, um, we got the gist of this run. Also, fuck it, I've decided after much deliberation that I'm actually going to choose not to die on this run. So, basically, tough luck to the rest of the bosses we're going to encounter. Um, I would really like to get HP immediately if possible. It's not like we're gunning for some kind of achievement here. So, oh, I ran right into it. Still... This isn't about winning and losing. This is about getting a good, you know, spotlight on what makes this mod special. What makes this one special? It's short and um, it's definitely new. But as far as I'm concerned, the poop challenge is still a little bit more interesting. But for now, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.